Hello watch enthusiasts and welcome back to chapter 2 of Seiko do-it-yourself 7S26 tutorial. We got quite a good uh, feedback for the first video, part 1, and I think uh, it's nice to see everyone joining in on their little Seiko uh, 7S26 journey. Um, what are we doing for this video? Well today we will start with taking off the auto rotor, then going layer under the dial, removing uh, day and date uh, wheel and calendar, uh, the casing ring and finally the cannon pinion. Well, Andrew, that was not difficult, really. I think so. It was very nice. Um, we're really starting to get into the kind of movement components now. Yep. Any tips? Uh, first tip, uh, I would say in regards to taking or removing your plastic components to use Rotoco and not tweezers. Tweezers can mark and mar the plastic components and you definitely don't want that. If you want to use a tweezers, you have to be very careful, but mm. yeah, probably Rotoco to pick the components is the way to go. But why Seiko use plastic parts? That's not... Uh, traditional watchmaking um, mm, material uh, for two main reasons um, one is in the manufacturing so it's a little bit cheaper to make uh, plastic components um, whilst this probably doesn't save very much money per watch 
when you're making quite literally millions of watches, it can add up at the end yeah. of the day. Um, but also for uh, lubrication, so plastic parts don't need to be lubricated and that helps obviously in your assembly but in also in your servicing. Yeah, when it comes to longevity and performance, mm. a lubricant is actually the enemy of the watch so to mm. speak. Uh, less lubrication is better. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so once we got all the parts disassembled... Now the, the fun begins. Yes. Uh, print the page number three of parts manual mm -hmm. and then... And then, so once you've disassembled everything that we have in the video, uh, you can place your parts uh, sort of on top of their uh, drawing here and actually identify them. So each individual part you'll see uh, has its name and its part number as well. If you do need to reorder a part, um, this is where you can find that information. Mm -hmm. And this technical guide is available in our uh, groups.io file, uh, archive. file archive. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Uh, video 3 Up on its way. Mm.